Hey YouTube, I noticed something interesting when watching uh, YouTube tutorial videos on connecting wireless controllers. Um, so normally, what you would do is you'd click on the Start menu, you would go to Settings, and it would bring up a, you know a window of different settings. You would click on the devices, and then you would get this page here. And you would go to add a Bluetooth or other device. It would bring up this. You would go to everything else because it literally says Xbox controllers with wireless adapter, DLNA, and more. So you would expect that you would go through this option with all the wired wireless controllers. And on your Xbox controller specifically, uh, for this video, I'll be using the Xbox controller. And yes, it's Cyberpunk 2077, regardless of how you feel about the game. It's a really good controller. Um, you would click on that. You would power on the controller. And then this little button here, you would click this to connect to your PC. Well, this controller, even though you can tell it's, a, it's the newest version of the Xbox One controller, because the plastic is separated by the plate of the controller, the older Xbox controllers that always seem to have trouble connecting to a PC wirelessly, it had the plastic that went from here and then around the home screen. So that's how you would know it was an older Xbox One controller. And with this controller, it is separated. So you know it's a newer one. It should be in there, but it's not. And I found that it was in here instead. And feel free to leave a comment, but I noticed that uh, quite a few, I, obviously I didn't go through and, I, and watch every single YouTube tutorial video. I would have been there for hours. But the ones that I did watch, they said, you know, if it's not in here, then most likely you can't connect it. And I'm like, no, that's not true. Because I found it in here. And it's the same thing with the PS4 wireless controller. I found it in this Bluetooth option instead of in here. Like you would normally think that it would it literally mentions xbox controllers with wireless adapters so you would think that this would be the option that you would go for for connecting a wireless controller but if you don't find it in here then it could be in here as well and i just wanted to put this out here you know in a, a little video because how many people have went here and clicked on this they're like oh my wireless controller won't connect so that's it i guess i just can't run it on pc and just didn't think to check in here and make sure it was just a regular Bluetooth option for your controller because you have an expectation both because it literally says what it says on this option and because the YouTube videos say, you know, if it's not in here, most likely it can't connect. Um, you might think that, oh, well, you know, that's it. Can't connect my wireless controller when you could literally connect it in here. So I just wanted to put this out here, you know, to make sure that you're not giving up on uh, your wireless controller before you check the second option. Because you should. You should check this first. But if it's not in here and it won't connect through here, check this option. Because most likely it will. Because it has for me. For both my wireless PS4 controller and my Xbox One controller, they both were in here. And... Also, make sure Bluetooth is on um, before you do any of this stuff. So I hope this was helpful. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to grow the YouTube, so I would really appreciate uh, the help. And um, I hope this helped you guys because there's nothing worse than not being able to game comfortably. You know, I've been there many times before, had a lot of frustrations with trying to set up different technologies and trying to get your controller to work right and, and all that stuff. And you want to, you want to game comfortably. So I hope this helps you guys out. And, um, that's all I really wanted to say. Uh, you know, check the other option before you give up on the controller because you never know it might, it might connect in Bluetooth rather than everything else. That's all I really wanted to say. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Later.